Cobble. Liam Shanahan. What's up, Liam? Uh, thanks for coming back and doing this. Um, Zach just told us that the freshman quarterbacks are getting all the snaps with the ones and that they're splitting up the time, so you don't have to worry about breaking any news there. But uh, just how has it been working with them and having the extra week to prepare and work with them? Uh, I don't know if you're ready or not. Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been good working with them. Honestly, they're uh, you know they're they're both really really talented, young, motivated players, and, and it, they've been impressive um, really throughout the whole summer. When I first got here, they're always they're always in here working, um, throwing throwing extra routes, getting receivers to come in and work with them. Um, you know, obviously, hope for the best that Miles will be able to go, but um, if not, like they're both they're both proven to me that they're. They're ready for to step up and, and embrace the challenge, and uh, you know if, if Miles can't go, I'd, I'd be excited to see what they could do too. So, uh, hey Liam, this is Shay Dixon with Twenty Four Seven Sports. Um, how would you describe uh, both Max and TJ? Just the type of player they are. Um, yeah, so they're uh, they're both uh, really talented. I, I, I personally think um, you know they, they are a little bit different. Max, uh, I would say. Uh, runs the ball a little bit better. Um, he, he's more of a dual threat guy, uh, but TJ is really good in the pocket. He he has a really impressive arm. Uh, you know they they both have have a ton of upside and and uh, you know it's it's going to be a good battle between them for the, for this week. Um, you know to, to see what happens if Miles can't go. So. Hey Liam. Um, so you know I just because Joe mentioned <clears throat> you guys have been you know putting a lot of effort into trying to make some improvements on the goal line and on third downs as well. Can you just kind of go over maybe some of the things that maybe you guys have noticed the last week on how to improve in kind of both of those areas? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. you know, every single practice we've we've been putting in like short yardage and goal line periods. Um, you know, we put in uh, a couple a couple new uh, plays um, to try to help us out in, in those situations um, and, and really just repping it out and, and getting used to it. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely made practices a little, a little more challenging, but um, it's definitely something that we need to be working on, and it's, I think it's good for us as a football team. Yeah, to kind of build on that, you know, Coach, Coach Ogeron said that a lot of the goal was to, you know, with, if the young quarterbacks have to play, the running game will really have to step up. I guess just kind of what do you think the running game really needs to improve on? Um, we just got to keep, keep working and trying to progress um, as, a, as an offensive line. Um, and, and kind of making sure, especially if it is the young guys in there, knowing that uh, it puts more on us and that we have to do an, an even better job um, establishing the run game um, to, to really let them settle in and, and, uh, and, and be comfortable playing back there. So. And Liam, I know this is your first year too, but you know, through the summer you mentioned that time with Max Johnson, TJ Finley. What are they like? I mean, in the huddle, did you ever get a chance to work with them in the ones? I mean, what are they like on the field and, and experiencing it? Uh, I hadn't really worked with them uh, directly before uh, last week, um, but you know that's another thing that that, la that extra week last week, um, if they, if one of them does have to play this week, they, that could be a blessing in disguise, um, giving them extra time to prepare um, and be a part of the first unit. Uh, but they're they're both impressive, you know they. They don't seem like they're afraid of the challenge or, or the or the uh, stepping up to the big stage. Um, they're both impressive leaders, uh, and and their work ethic um, has really really impressed me. So um, we'll see what happens with the two of them this week if they have to play. But uh, I'm confident. So, do their personalities kind of come out yet? I mean, how, how would you describe them? Yeah, definitely. Um, Max is probably a little more shy than TJ, but they're both. Um, I mean, I'm also a shy kid. I would say so. I've been kind of uh, blossoming into the same same uh, kind of experience as them, but um, they're they're both awesome. So, as the uh, center, when you're working with more than one quarterback uh, during the week to prepare, what kind of adjustments do you have to make, and uh, do you have to make any adjustments because they're young guys and freshmen? Yeah, I mean, just uh, with with them being young and uh, you know not having been around the. Uh, like around college football for that long, I've I've been trying to work with them, and uh, I've been meeting. I met with uh, all the quarterbacks um, yesterday, and, I, and I'm planning on trying to do that throughout the rest of the week, um, just so we're all on the same page um, with protection checks and whatnot. Um, and you know, it, it makes it more important for me uh, to kind of with Miles potentially not playing. Um, I 
I need to do everything I can to help out uh, the younger quarterback so they can really focus uh, on, on making plays and, uh, and just making their life easier. Hey, Liam, uh, Jacques from WAFB here in Baton Rouge. Um, the first play, I think it was the second half of Missouri, you run a, a rushing play, and it, it just kind of looked easy, and Tyron goes for 24 yards. I know it wasn't easy, but is that kind of now the frustrating thing? It, it looks like it can be there if just uh, if everyone does their job, you guys can really click like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Um, you know, against Missouri, we, we weren't getting a ton of great uh, running looks, which is why we were throwing the ball a lot, but... Um, that being said, the opportunities that, that we did get um, to run the football, especially early in the game, we, uh, we have to do a good job um, establishing that, that we will have a good run game. Um, just to go give uh, Coach E confidence in us um, going forward throughout the game. And, uh, and yeah, we have a good unit. I, I really do believe that we have a good, strong unit. And, and this past week, uh, this extra week that we had last week, we really tried to get back to the fundamentals um, in the run game. and. and going back to kind of the day one stuff and just making sure we have that right um, going forward. Hey, Liam, Zach had talked about how the team was, was still getting used to learning how to prepare for a game because it was so young. What do you think about how the team prepares now as your first year in and also how much did the extra week help with uh, learning how to prepare for a game? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it's a young team. Uh, not me. I, I mean, I've, I've had experience playing college football, so I, I feel like I know um, kind of what it takes, um, and and I have like my own routine that I like to do to, uh, week to week, just to really get to know um, the team we're playing and the schemes that uh, we're trying to run and whatnot. Um, but it is it's something that that you got to learn, and and a lot of the guys in this team they're they're coming along, and uh, you know we're we're going to try to put kind of more emphasis on that going forward, um, and, and and really make sure that everybody knows how important it is to be in your iPad, um, watching film, um, just making sure that we have. We have the advantage uh, from uh, like mentally going into the games every week. So, um, hey Liam, this is Shay again with twenty four seven. Forgive my ignorance if it's a dumb question, but I guess center and quarterback exchanges are obviously paramount, and, and y'all run shotgun a good bit. But does it help that those guys are also big guys like Miles is, or does that adjust at all when it's in another six four or something like that? Um, I mean, it's, it's a good, I guess, that they're, they're of the same size. Um, I will say, I guess sometimes when, when I'm in practice and one of the equipment managers is, is catching our, our snaps, it's sometimes I feel like they, they might sail a little high just cause they're, they're not tall guys, but, um, yeah, it's good. So. Okay. We'll wrap up with Gordon and then Hey, and, you know, Coach Ogeron also said last week, he talked a lot about asking, you know, the defense to simplify, but he also said he told Coach Ensminger to simplify a little bit. So was there a need also for the, the offense to simplify, and what would that kind of look like? Um, I guess just with potentially having uh, a young, younger quarterbacks playing this week, if Miles can't go, um, the simpler for them, I'm sure the easier it will be. Um, and something that I kind of hope is that we'll, we'll be able to lean back on, on the run game a little bit more than, than we have. Um, which, we, which we talked about earlier, but um, you know, the, the simpler the better, I, I think. Um, we have a lot of talent on our team. Um, we have guys who can make plays on both sides of the ball, so just the easier that we make it on them, the, the more plays they'll be able to make. Yeah, along that, um, you know, the goal line situations there, I mean, is the simpler part, I mean, I don't know, the review of an offensive line just getting pushed on the goal line, I don't know, is that something that will reviewed after that, that goal line uh, situation against Missouri? Yeah, I mean, just got to get more push. Um, you know, I think some of the new uh, new stuff that we put in would is going to be really helpful if we're in that situation again. Um, and just the time that we've had in practice, uh, you know, repping goal line plays and, and these short yardage plays, I, uh, I think that that's going to be useful for us going forward. Awesome. Thank you, William. Appreciate yeah, the time. Thank you.